Julie Pine joins Carson Group as its chief legal officer. Let's get into it. And welcome to Innovate Marketing Daily. Today is October 3rd, 2023. My name is Sean P. Neal, and we are brought to you by mypodcast.media. Now, mypodcast.media is a full service podcast production agency. So for all of your podcasting needs, make sure you visit mypodcast.media. All right, we've got a great show for you today. So without further ado, All right, and thanks so much for joining me on this third day of October 2023. So last night, my daughter was saying, I can't wait for cold weather because it's October now. She knows that Halloween's coming. She's six. So she she sees Halloween's coming. It must be getting cold. And I I looked at her. I'm like, you're crazy. Why, Why do you want the cold weather? And she says, I'd love to snuggle up with my blankie. How cute is that? I said, don't worry, kid, cold weather is on its way. So if you're in the Midwest, (laughs) you know it's coming. You know it's coming. Now, I don't know about Omaha, Nebraska, how cold it's going to get there this winter, but I will tell you that this story today comes from Omaha. And our tidbit fact for the day, this is that little trivia piece that you can take with you, comes from visitomaha.com. So did you know? Did you know that the Reuben sandwich was invented in Omaha? I had no idea. The legend was born in Omaha in 1925 when Reuben Kolofkowski, a local grocer, whipped up the sandwich for a group of late-night poker players at the Blackstone Hotel. And then one of the players, Charles Schimmel, who was also the hotel's owner, liked it so much that he put it on the hotel restaurant's menu. And the rest, of course, is history. Uh, The Reuben Reuben sandwich is now known all over, and we love it. So there you have it. There's some trivia you can share with your friends, family, coworkers. They'll be wild and amazed that you know that. And let's talk about another great thing coming out of Omaha, Nebraska, because this is where Carson Group, one of the fastest-growing financial services firms in the country, has hired Julie Pine as its chief legal officer. Congratulations, Julie. Now, Julie will report directly to Terry Shepard, president of Carson Group, and will play a pivotal role in overseeing all legal and regulatory matters for the firm. Now, before we go any further, I want to talk a little bit about Carson Group, who they are, what they do, and then we'll get back to Julie's appointment. So Carson Group was founded in 1983 by Ron Carson, and it serves financial advisors and investors in three businesses, Carson Wealth, Carson Coaching, and Carson Partners. Carson Group has created an ecosystem dedicated to helping financial advisors unleash the full potential of their firms by providing marketing, compliance, technology, investment strategies, succession planning, M&A support, and coaching. Now, the company currently manages $30 billion in AUM and serves more than 47,000 families among its advisor network of over 140 partner offices, including over 50 Carson Wealth locations. So let's talk about Julie's appointment here and how that really impacts them, because she brings a wealth of legal and leadership experience to Carson Group, making her an ideal candidate for this role. So Julie's professional journey is marked by her exceptional contributions to various organizations. She served as executive vice president, general counsel, and chief risk officer at Lead Bank in Kansas City. And during her tenure there, Pine oversaw legal risk compliance, human resources, and information security functions, demonstrating her versatile expertise. And then earlier, or early in her career, Pine was commercial litigator and equity shareholder at McDowell, Rice, Smith, and Buchanan, PC, before taking on the role of general counsel at Mariner Wealth Advisors. Now, Pine has been recognized for her outstanding leadership in the legal field, receiving accolades such as the Missouri Lawyers Weekly In-House Counsel Rising Star Award and the designation of a next-gen leader in Kansas City. And in 2020, she completed the Greater Kansas City Chamber's Centurions Leadership Program. Now, outside of her professional achievements, 
Julie is dedicated to the Kansas City community. So she serves as the vice chair of the Women's Employment Network, secretary of the Educator Academy, and as a board member of the Advent Health Kansas City Foundation and the University of Kansas Law School Board of Governors. Very active in her community. Julie, I don't know how you find time to do it all, but that's amazing. Now, Pine's appointment marks another milestone in Carson Group's commitment to provide exceptional service and leadership in the financial services industry. Her addition to the executive leadership team will strengthen Carson Group's position as a leader in the field. And as a footnote, she will continue to reside in Leewood, Kansas with her family. All right, so there you have it, my friends. Wherever you're watching or listening to this podcast, please make sure you drop by the comment sections and let Julie and everyone at Carson Group know that you are supporting her in her journey and them in hiring her and bringing her on board for this. What an amazing thing for everyone involved. So send a congratulations out there. And of course, if you would like to support us in what we do here Monday through Friday, Monday through Friday, Innovate Marketing Daily brings you news and stories just like this. Things to inspire you, get your day off to a good start. So please like, share, subscribe. We would love to have you on board. Now, there are a lot of great stories coming through the pipeline. I've got to work. I work day and night on these, my friends, day and night. So I've got to get busy. Until we meet again, please stay safe and be well. See ya.